Jesus, I come to know Jesus, I pray to know Happy Sunday to you all, brothers and sisters. Oh, what another great time again to be in God's presence in this special uh, Sunday service. I, I want to bless God for the privilege to come before him. The Bible says no one can come unless the Father draw it in. Always know that every time we are privileged to gather before God, whether inside the building or we are connecting online like we are doing today, uh, God is always glad and God is always involved. Because the Bible says, For unto me shall the gathering of my people be. So wherever you are connected from today, I want you to open your heart and believe God to move in your life and empower you for victory and dominion, even as we worship Him in today's service in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, whoever is in your house, members of your family, your friends who are around you, make sure you get them together so that in the course, before you even start the broadcast, make sure you uh, engage in praises and worship unto God. For the Bible says in Psalm 100 and verse number 4, Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. And after the praise and worship, which is always a normal process of uh, worshiping God, you get enter into his presence with thanksgiving and seek praises and adoration unto him with members of your family. If you are with them or if you are alone, make sure you do it from, all, from the bottom of your heart. And as well, pray. Make sure you engage a time of prayers. Pray for your life. Pray for your family. I pray for the family of Triophant Chapel as a whole. And as well, pray for the entire world because all the nations on the world as we are aware right now are passing through a period of panic and uh, great fear and uh, this is the time the believers must stand up in faith and keep crying to God until God in his infinite mercy come down and stop this plague that has evaded the world in this season. Remember the Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 14, if my people which I call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and talk from their wicked way, he said I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. And the Bible says also in the book of Psalm 102 and verse 13, he said Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yea, the set time has come. So we are going to be crying to God all the time, all through this is it, believing God that this coronavirus pandemic will come to an end in no distant time and this will become history like every other disease that has come on the earth. God has put it to an end before through the medium that is going to use a line giving knowledge to, uh, to those who are knowledgeable in the area of science to be able to develop a vaccine and by his power bringing an end, however, to this global pandemic that is causing so much panic and taking the lives of many people away. But I pray for every one of you who is connecting in this live broadcast today and is taking part in this Sunday service. I decree that for you and your household, God will protect you, God will defend you and keep you safe in the name of Jesus Christ. And before we go into the full broadcast of today, before we receive the word of God, I want us to bow out all our heads in prayer as we connect into his power. Lord Jesus, I thank you today. I bless you for this wonderful Sunday service. The Bible says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the Lord give up from between his feet, or till Shiloh come, for unto you shall the gathering of your people be. Father, Lord, thank you for the privilege given to everyone to gather in this service today, wherever everyone is connected from. I thank you for the grace to be part of this life broadcast. Your word said, in every situation we should give thanks to your name. Therefore, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your defense. We thank you for your grace and glory that has kept us under your divine cover in this season of panic and fear all around the world. I want to appreciate you because you have not allowed any of us to be a victim in this family of triumph and chapel. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name for being faithful in honoring your word that says, they that trust the Lord, they are like Messiah, which cannot be removed, but abide dead forever. As the mountains are run about the other side, so you run about them that trust in you. To keep them and to preserve them. You will so not allow the Lord of the wicked to come to the action of the righteous, so the righteous will not put their hand on to anybody. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree that as we have come before 
before you. Father, speak to her. Reveal yourself to her. Bless every life. Renew every soul. Anyone that is weak, let their soul be strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, send your word that will illuminate darkness in the life of anyone. Send your word that will strengthen everyone's weakness. Send your word that will heal the sick. Send the word that will deliver your prayer. Send the word that will break the chains of the weak of the life of the people. Send the word that will power it or will empower the faith in the heart of everyone that will give them access to the victory you are giving to us to overcome the crisis that is ravaging the whole world right now. Lord, as we commence today's service and as we receive your word, I decree that no one will finish this broadcast and remain the same. Bless every soul and let your name be glorified. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Before we go into today's uh, message, I want to first and foremost uh, uh, pay tribute to all the key workers, the health workers, NHS workers, and uh, all carers, people working day and night flat out to make sure that the life of other people are safe. It is my prayer that for them and for every one of you and your family, God will keep you safe and protect you that none of you will be infected and be affected with this disease in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of the Lord protect you. May the Lord reward you immensely and bless you and generations after you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the grace of God, also I want to thank God for the life of all the men and women of God uh, from the triumphant chapel family who are praying there and night, praying for the church and praying for the people of God and praying against the spread of this disease and asking the Lord to pour his message upon the world and put an end to this uh, pandemic that is causing panic and uh, so much uh, affliction all around the world. I pray for every one of you servants of God that your service will not go on rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to keep studying the God for God's people, for the church of God, and for the world all together. I pray that that grace will be multiplied in the name of Jesus Christ. None of you will ever be a victim of evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed and keep strong in your faith in God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today we are going to continue the series of teachings that we started since the beginning of um, this month of March. Remember the Lord spoke to us that in this month of March that we should fight and win by faith. And therefore I'll be speaking to you on the message I titled Winning and Overcoming the Battles and the Challenges of Life by Faith Part 8. Winning and Overcoming the Battles and the Challenges of Life by Faith and today we are doing part 8 of this series. And by the grace of God as we are aware, our anchor scripture for the month of March is 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse number 12. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith and lay hold unto eternal life whereunto thou art called and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. And before we ever knew, like I said before, that this crisis is going, to, is going to spread across the world, God already spoke to us ahead of time to prepare our heart, and letting us know that a, a, a battle was coming, a challenge was coming, trouble was about to invade the world. All we need to fight to the end and be able to overcome is the weapon of faith. Remember, uh, at the beginning of the crisis, the whole thing started as an epidemic in China, but nobody knew that it's going to snowball into a pandemic that will become uh, a global crisis that will cause so much uh, a torment and uh, so much panic and uh, affliction and evil death in the life of so many people. But once again, I pray that as you unlock your faith, as the Lord has spoke to us ahead of ahead, ahead of time, to hold on to our faith for the victory that has ordained for us, I declare that none of you will lose this battle in the name of Jesus Christ. With your eyes open, living a healthy life, and with the hand of the Lord upon your life and the life of your family, I declare like every other disease and virus have come and gone, your eyes will see the end of this in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the devil to make you a victim of this of this virus i command that that plan be destroyed in the name of jesus christ be blessed one more time in jesus precious name we have prayed by the grace of god in this part i want to help you understand remember uh, in our last uh, broadcast we saw three powerful uh, element kingdom element or divine element that will 
continue to power up your faith and renew your faith and then fire your faith for greater exploit and for victory and dominion over every challenge and every battle that may come in any area of your life. And we saw that the first thing is to get your faith rooted in God every day. And the second thing was to get your faith rooted in the word of God because God and his word are inseparable. And the third uh, factor we look at was the force of speaking in the Holy Ghost every day, speaking tongues, speaking the language of God. Give the Holy Spirit God a chance to going to power up your faith and inject Holy Ghost fire into your spirit so that your, your faith are going to go every day to give you the victory that you so desire. By the grace of God in this part, I'm going to be uh, helping us to understand again another powerful force that God has designed by himself not according to the will of man, but according to the will of God himself. You know, God is God by himself and with himself and in himself. Therefore, he has given us another great insight I'm going to be showing to you today that will keep your faith ever growing, keep your faith ever refreshed, keep your faith ever burning, and keep your faith on a winning track every day of your life, no matter which area of your life the devil sends trouble, and no matter which area of your life affliction or attack comes against you, victory will always be your portion. Remember, First John chapter 5 and verse 4, the Bible says, For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So as you hold on to that faith, uh, you are always, you're always guaranteed that your victory will always be a must. Uh, next powerful, inevitable force that every man and every woman that desire an ever burning faith, an ever growing faith, an ever efficacious faith, an ever miracle producing faith, an ever winning faith to grow and going to develop in their heart, you cannot afford not to subscribe to this powerful force that we're going to be discussing today because the Bible talks about uh, uh, many people who do not align themselves, who do not align their faith according to God's will, which has, and they have made a shipwreck of their own faith. So some people wonder, oh, why is my faith not working? Some people will say, well, I don't believe. Yesterday they believe, but today they are not believing anymore. Some used you were people of faith last year, but this year they are now, you know, just victim of doubt. So, that is because they don't have this uh, divine element that can the power up that the Lord has given to us to going to power up our faith on a daily basis. That our faith is going to be on a winning track every day of our life. So listen to the one we are going to discuss today because I know it's going to bless your life. It's going to bless your soul. And I decree wherever you are be getting it wrong, that is making your faith to one go and dangle every day. It is today is up, tomorrow is down. I pray that as the message of today comes to you, that your faith shall be stabilized in God in the name of Jesus Christ. And that powerful force is what I refers to as a genuine and a sincere connection with the spirit and the grace of God upon the servant of God that God has placed over your life. A genuine and a sincere connection with the spirit and the grace of God upon the life of the servant of God, God has placed over your life. And before we continue, I want us to read uh, a scripture. We are going to be reading different scripture in the course of this uh, uh, service to help us understand better this particular subject that we shall be discussing today because this is where the law of people's faith is broken down. This is where many people's faith is not working. You see many people in church and they are watching, they hear other people's testimony. Oh, I believe God and this turn around came, you hear other people say, oh, this cannot happen to me, I am an overcomer, I am a victor, victory is my portion, they are passing through difficult situations and they can make a boast that my faith is working, I must have my result, like Job said, I wait upon the Lord until my change come. So people wonder, where do people find this great faith, unwavering faith that keep them going, even in the midst of Flawed, the means of attack, the means of challenges that at the end of the day they come out victorious. And people wonder, how comes I don't have that kind of faith? I think this is where a lot of people are missing it in their in their in the, in the school of faith where their faith is not strong enough on a daily basis to give them the, the, the testimony and the miracle they desire as they go through the journey of life. So today I'll be reading. Uh, with you, you turn your Bible with me to the book of Romans, chapter number 10. Romans, chapter number 10. Uh, we shall be reading from verse number 14. I wish we'll be reading that scripture from verse 14 
to verse number 15. The Bible says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So this scripture makes us understand that for every child of God that desire an ever-growing faith, an ever-burning faith in their heart, you must subscribe to connecting yourself to the teaching ministry, to the word of God that is sent through a servant of God that is be ordained as sent by God himself unto you. Remember, the Bible says, how will they call on whom they have not believed? And how will they believe on whom they have not heard about? And how can they hear when no one is there to preach the word of faith to them? And now the Bible says, how can they even preach? How would they, we wouldn't have said they find they are looking for someone to preach to them to build their faith. How will they find somebody to preach to them when the person has not been sent? This scripture helps us understand that God has raised men and women in the body of Christ to teach God's people the word of God, which the Bible refers as the faith builder. Remember the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 17, that faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God, which means that it is how much of the word of God that you receive into your life? You receive the word of God to a point that your spirit mind is impacted. Your life is impacted with the revelation and knowledge of the word of God, which has the power to build up the faith to so desire that will give you the victory you require in every subject of your life. So for you to going to grow in your faith, for your faith to going to move from strength to strength, for your faith to be renewed every day, for your faith to be fired every day, for your faith to keep, you know, moving from victory to victory, enjoying breakthroughs to breakthrough over the issues of life, the Bible says you must make sure that you connect yourself to someone that God has sent by himself and give him the Grace to interpret his word unto you, which has the capacity to come to build your faith, to build your faith, to renew your faith, and to inspire your faith by the word of God on a daily basis. Let me repeat that again. How can they call on whom they have not believed? And how can they have faith on whom they have not heard about? Which means that the belief uh, order is dependent on the word order. So it is the word of God that you receive that determines the faith that grows in your heart. What this And the Bible says that, how can they believe if no one preaches to them? Which means that you need the word of God to build that faith. But the Bible says, how can they preach to be able to build the faith of the people if they have not been sent by God? So which means that this ministration, the word of God that is going to power up your faith, is not just going to come from every decahar, it's not going to come from every source, it's going to come from People that God has specially sent to you, someone that God has specially sent to you and put the word in him, inside of him, put the word inside of his heart, put the word in his spirit to help you interpret that word all the time in every subject matter of your life so that, oh, you are able to know exactly, the, you are able to grab an understanding of how to connect with God's power in order to override the challenges that every situation will bring to you. That's what the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse number 15. The Bible says, I will send you pastors. Say, I will give you pastors according to my heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. I will give you pastors according to my heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Even in this season of global crisis, even in this season of, uh, of, uh, the, of the, the COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic, 
You need somebody to keep speaking faith into your heart, speaking faith, sending the word of God into your spirit. That any time you hear that word, the spirit of God triggers faith inside of you to say, For me and my household, our case is different. You know that you are very sure that because God's servant has spoken into your life by the leading of the Almighty, yeah, you believe your faith is triggered to believe that yes, that is mine, and as the Lord lives, it must surely manifest in my life. It is not everywhere you're going to find it, you must be committed and you must be dedicated to receiving the word of God from those that the Lord has sent to you. Those that the Lord has sent to you, you are not the one that, that saved yourself, you're not the one that, uh, that redeemed yourself. Jesus Christ saved us from our sins and Satan and brought us to be part of his body, which makes us to become Christians. However, that same God says that he has positioned people and sent people in his body whose assignment is to continue to feed his people, to continue to enrich the heart of his people with the knowledge and understanding that will build up the faith they require in order to enjoy the victory that God has ordained for us as we go through the journey of life. Remember, let me repeat again, Romans 10, 17, for faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God from the sent vessel of God. So the more you connect and the more you believe sincerely in your heart, in the grace and the spirit of God upon the life of this people that God has specially sent by themselves, the greater your faith will be empowered to grow on a daily basis to withstand the challenges that may come your way at any point in time. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse number 20 and 21, the Bible says, although God gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, he said, but yet, he said that your teacher will not be taken away to a corner. He said, but your eyes will see your teacher. About 21, he said, and your ears, as your eyes see your teacher, speaking the word of faith, declaring the glad tidings of God, declaring the word of God into your spirit that build up your faith. He said that your ears will hear a word behind you that will say to you, this is the way, this is what you should do, this is what you should know, this is what you should believe in order to overcome as you turn to the right hand and as you turn to the left hand. Because the word is coming from your God-ordained teacher, servant of God, who God has given the anointing, God has given the insight, God has given the revelation to impact your, your spirit, to impact your faith with that word and the more you absorb that word the greater your faith grows remember faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of god so the more you power your life according to god's word as you believe in the grace and the anointing of the vessel god is using to send that word to you the bible said that your faith is going to grow from strength to strength from victory to victory and from victory to victory wherever you go you say as you turn to the right hand and as you turn to the left anywhere you go as you get connected even as you are connecting on this live broadcast we may not be together in the cathedral today but i am sending you the word of god that he gave to me for everyone that is part of this broadcast that your faith in God no man will be able to crush in the name of Jesus Christ as the word of God has come to you today have come to announce to you as a sent servant of God to into your life I decree that this global pandemic will not break you down in the name of Jesus Christ no 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 member of your family will be taken in the name of Jesus Christ every agenda of the wicked against people against men and women all around the world to kill to steal and to destroy concerning you it will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ in this season as we pass through these global challenges remember the Bible says fight the good fight of faith and lay hold unto eternal life where unto that call. you are not called unto crisis you are not called unto trouble but because you are in the world and you are going to experience you are going to experience them but the Bible says that by faith you are going to overcome them you fight through them by faith and at the end of the day the blessings of eternal eternal life will not begin to manifest in life. That's why I know that at the end of this global crisis, every one of you will emerge on a greater frequency in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are now, God is going to make sure at the end of these battles, as end, at the end of this global crisis, every one of you is moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Every 
plan of the devil to make you a victim of this global pandemic, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God will destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of you, I speak again as God's servant unto your life. The word of faith, which has the capacity to give you victory, new respect of the enormity of the battle, that you and your household, you will emerge from this crisis victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why the Bible actually makes us understand. If you read that scripture in Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse number 15, it said, I will give you pastors according to my heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Now, let me break that down. As you begin to keep into the knowledge and understanding that God gives to them to impact your heart and to grow your faith. Verse 6 said, it will not come to pass when you begin to multiply and increase in the land. So which means that when you connect yourself, when you genuinely connect yourself to the grace and the anointing of God and the word of God that comes through the Sabbath of God that God has placed over your life, the Bible says that your faith will grow until the faith begins to expand and cause you to break forth in the land wherever you are because there's no distance, there's no barrier, there's no limitation to the victory that faith can give to you anywhere, any day, anytime. So I want you to believe God's word in my mouth again today. This is not the time you hear one thing in this way, you have received the word of faith and somebody somewhere is coming to tell you a totally different thing. You know, this is where uh, many of us have to be cautious at this time. Pastors, God servant, a spiritual agent that God has said to strengthen the faith of his people because he knows that we live in a world that is going to be, that is full of crisis and, you know, calamity and turbulence because the devil is out to steal, to kill and to destroy. So every day, no matter who brings anything contrary to what you have heard about the word of faith to your heart, tell them, in God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid of whatever anybody will say to me. I will not be afraid. I do not walk by sight. I walk by faith. I am a child of God. Therefore, victory is my portion. I believe God. Remember, even the word wife of Job at some point when Job passed through his period of crisis and turbulence, even his wife got to a point that the wife could not believe anymore. The wife said to him, why not cause God and die? And Job said, what? Don't talk like one of those foolish and stupid women. I am a servant of God. I am a man of faith. I will wait upon the Lord until my change comes. Because Job was aware that the pandemic was not going to kill him. Was it going to kill members of the Was it going to destroy him? And no matter what the enemy has wrecked around him, he knows that God will bring restoration. So he held on to God by faith. And at the end of it all, the Bible said God returned to him in double fold and gave him double of all that he has lost before. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, as you lay hold on to the word of faith in this season, Allow the spirit of faith to run in your heart. I decree that no matter any slowdown, any breakdown, any challenge you may experience at this time, God is going to restore you and give you double full of all you have lost in the name of Jesus Christ. And today, by the grace of God, I want you to be very careful. It's what every one of us must be very careful. In the book of Second Chronicles, I repeat back again to uh, let me help us understand again the power of God's grace and God's anointing upon the life of a servant to those that he has sent them to. In the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse number 20b, the Bible says, you shall believe the Lord your God and you shall be established. Remember, faith in God now. But the Bible says, but you shall believe his prophet and then you shall prosper. Which means that you don't just say, I believe in God. You don't just say, I have my faith in God. I'll tell you, no, he said, as you believe God, also believe what? Who is the servant? Who is the prophet of God? Those who send the word of God unto you. That's why if you read that scripture in Romans chapter 10, and uh, you read verse 14 where he said, no one can believe except the, somebody preach to them. But in that said, in verse 15, he said, blessed at the feet of of the people who are sent by God, who preach glad tidings and bring the word of God to the people, which means that God's servant are agents of blessing, people who power up your faith to connect the blessing God has ordained for your destiny. That's why I will encourage you again today that one thing you have to do in this season, especially this season that there's so much panic, there's so much fear, there's so much thing going around. People are posting all manners of things on Facebook. People are sending you all manners of, um, of links. People are telling you all manners of things. All of this, most of the time, the devil is only trying to disconnect your faith. He's only trying to you know, approach your faith. He's only trying to make you doubt the word 
of faith that has been preached to you. Sometimes people can even come and even attack the pastor that is preaching, that is ministering the faith to your heart and attacking before you. But you have to be careful to make sure that no matter what anybody says, your faith is well rooted in God and know that this is the servant of God that God has sent to me and the word that is preaching to me is building my faith for victory. That's because the Bible, you cannot afford to say, well, you are believing God and you are trusting God for what he has promised and the will of God for you, especially in this season. And at the end of the day, somebody has turned your heart in one way or the other and corrupted that. Even the word that you are receiving from your God sent God sent server is you now begin to doubt it. It now becomes you now begin to handle it with prejudice, you now begin to handle it with double mind, you now begin to handle it with disgruntledness. You cannot afford that. What you have to do is to make sure that anything that will corrupt your mind, that corrupt your conscience. Remember the Bible says in the book of First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 9. It said, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. So every time, even as I'm listening, as you are listening to me now, right now, you have to believe that where well, this is the word of God coming from God or the servant of God. I receive it, I claim it, that is my portion. I believe it with all, all with all diligence in your heart, irrespective of what anybody has said to you before to create fear in you, you believe. The Bible says, Which report do you believe? He said, I believe the report of the law. And the Bible says, Who had believed a report unto him is the harm of the law revealed. So I want you to today clean up your mind. Reconnect yourself with the spirit and the grace of God upon the Sabbath of God God has sent to you. Well, I want to thank God for his grace upon my life. I was a I was a school that was a specially nurtured as a pastor, but I love the life. God sent me on this assignment, and I want to thank God for the amazing testimonies that are becoming every day when people allow the word of God they receive in triumphant chapel through my mouth, sedimented their heart, they ferment it in their spirit, and it becomes a wine that intoxicates their faith and they go around to declare it and they have used it in different situations and they have come out with great testimonies. Healing testimony, great deliverances, breakthroughs, turn around. Every day we are receiving testimony of how people have heard the word of God and by faith in their heart, they believe the servant of God is sending it and as they put it to work, they have returned with testimony. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, for every one of you listening to me today, I declare that God's word that you are receiving from my mouth this season will provoke your faith to pluck into the testimony you so desire in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse number 19, the Bible says, holding faith in good cautions, which many have departed from and they have made a shipwreck of their faith. So you cannot afford to say, well, I believe God, I believe in his word, but I don't care about the servant of God. God is using to speak the word of God to me. Say, many have compromise that, that good conscience. So people stay there, they are receiving the word of God, but it's not finding foundation in their heart. It's not getting established in their heart because their conscience towards the preacher is not a good one. It's not a pure one. So I want to advise every one of you today, as I round up this broadcast, that please rededicate your life to God. Rededicate your life to the word of God. And please reconnect your spirit to the grace and the anointing and the Spirit of God upon the servant of God, God has sent over your life. And I strongly believe for every one member of the Triophant Chapel family, I should believe in the grace and the anointing of God and connect into it. The Lord that sent me to you will ensure that every day of your life, victory will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. As you put the word of God to work and activate your faith on a daily basis on any subject matter, in your marriage, in your finances, even dealing with this uh, global pandemic, this, this global crisis that is all around affecting every area of, every of human life, I declare that for you and your household, you shall be kept in the name of Christ. Safety will be your portion. Wherever you go, the hand of the Lord will be with you. He will deliver you from evil. Every pit of the wicked that is dug against you and your household, I command them destroy in the name of Christ. Whosoever has vowed that you are going away, you are going to be taken away from this world as a result of this uh, uh, virus that is going around the world, I decree all their 
thought, all the imagination, I command them nullify concerning you in the name of Christ. Again today, I pronounce you and your household blessed. In this special Sunday service, I decree, may the blessings of these days across the world, may your portion come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree again, in this special Sunday, as we connect online, worshiping in one accord, I decree that the God unto whom we have gathered today, the same God that has brought us together today, we ensure that every one of you be blessed in this service in the name of Remember, the Bible said God has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Again, I decree, until we meet again, make sure you keep the spirit burning. We are going to be coming again by the grace of God on Tuesday. But I strongly believe that the word we have had today, put it over again and again and again. I've had people tell me they'll be listening to the teaching of Tuesday and their faith will be strengthened and they are so blessed. I want you to be the next one to testify. So make sure you have to click into, as you connect on YouTube and click the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe and keep watching as the power of God keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Like I said, what we need in this special, in this season of global crisis is a faith capsule. So make sure every day you drink it. Every day you drink it. Every day you drink it. As you hear the voice of God, even if fear is about to hit your heart, no matter what anybody posts to you and what anybody says to you, get back to the brokers and hear the word of faith that the Lord has spoken to my mouth. And I speak to you, the word will never fail you in the name of Christ. Once again, I wish every one of you a very happy Sunday. If you have not done your praise and worship before you join this broadcast, make sure you do it right now. Uh, it's, make sure, be in the mood of uh, an official service as if we are in the cathedral, worship it together. If you have your sound system, put the sound system on, dance to the glory of the Lord, celebrate God, get your children together and let them know that Jesus Christ. Today is Sunday, it's not a day to lie down on the bed. 10 30, man, we have been in service. Get connected and celebrate God, engage in prayer. Take some prayer, like I said earlier on, for your family, for the church of God, for the whole world, that God in His infinite mercy will intervene. And make sure that this crisis all over the world comes to an end. And for you and your household, victory will be your portion. Be blessed and stay connected in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Therefore, we are blessed. We are lifted and we are going higher. 2020, our year of higher level. A year of higher level, we are marching forward. God bless you and have a wonderful Sunday. Jesus, I come in the Jesus, I pray in the night. For me, what have you not done for me? I cannot imagine all you went through just for me. What have you not done for me? Will I be without you? Will I be without you? Oh, you have.
have done for me Ikwere Nana What have you not done? What have you not done? Yeah, yeah. What have you not done? What have you not done for me? I cannot imagine All, all you went through just for Strength failed me. Friends and family turned their back on me. Lord, you stood by me. You never let me down. 